Now that I've finished explaining all the core concept in time value of money, we should do a comprehensive time value of money question, which is the mortgage question. The question is, you want to buy a home that's worth $400,000 right now, which you're going to ask the bank for a mortgage. The bank charges you 4% interest compounded semi-annually. You will be required to pay equal monthly payment. The mortgage will be repaid in 20 years. Determine your monthly payment. First, let's have a breakdown of the question. Here's the question breakdown. Number one, it's an annuity because you're making equal period payment, which is monthly payment, and there's a time limit, which is 20 years. The principal amount, the $400,000, will be the PV in the annuity formula. Number three, this question involves some interpretation of compounding frequency and the difference in payment frequency and compounding frequency. Now, I will solve this question. First, we have to determine what is an appropriate period. Is it a year? Is it half a year? Or is it a quarter? Or is it a month? In this question, because we have to make monthly payment therefore one period to us is one month always remember this pattern it doesn't matter what your frequent what your compounding frequency is or what the annualized interest rate is if you're making monthly payment one period for you is one month if you're making quarterly payment, one period for you is one quarter or three months. If you're making a six-month payment, uh, the payment every six months, then your p one period is six months. So always remember this pattern. Now, once we've decided what one period is, we have to find the effective period interest, which is the effective monthly interest. We will do so by first finding the effective semi-annual rate because the question says compound it semi-annually. Four percent compound it semi-annually, which is two percent. Then we have to find, we can find the effective monthly rate from the effective semi-annual rate. In this step, I have to shorten it to the final solve procedure. If you don't understand what I'm doing, look back to what I explained in compounding frequency in that subsection. So this is your effective monthly rate. Now, set up the formula. Oh, before we set up the formula, we have to know how many periods are there in 20 years. Because we know that one period equals to one month. So in 20 years, there are 240 months. Now we can set up the formula. I've written this term and this term reversed, but it's the same thing whether I write this at last or this in the beginning. And what we're trying to solve is we're trying to solve for our equal month pay monthly payment, so we're trying to solve for this term, which equals
this entire term times the cash flow. When we solve this variable, it equals $2,417.01. This number is your monthly payment. In every month, part of this payment, part of this $2,417 will be used to fully pay off the interest incurred in that month. And the difference, the interest amount, of, of course, will, will be smaller than this, will be much smaller than that. And the rest, the difference, will be used to pay off the principal. Now, every month, because some principal amount is being paid off, every month the interest accumulated will decrease and your principal repayment will increase. That's just a little bit of def explanation of. Uh, of what makes up, what are the components of this monthly payment. This concludes the concept part of topic one, time value of money, and next I'll get to topic two, bond valuation, and once I get through all the three topics, time value of money, bond valuation, and stock valuation, I will do a, a midterm question anticipation where I'll only do questions that are likely to appear on midterms or the questions that are likely going to be very similar to what you'll see uh, on, on the midterm. And just as a clarification, I have no means of knowing what will be on your midterm. But what I can do and what I'm doing right now is I'm anticipating based on my experience what will be on your midterm so everything that I'm gonna do will be an anticipation I have I have no means of getting the actual questions from the midterm